Now, practical tip number 11 is probably one of the most important ones inside this video. Why is it last? I have no idea. Hello everybody, Jimmy is probably here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the top 10 practical tips and tricks to use on the daily basis for the Galaxy Note 9 to make your life easier. Now, before we start off this video, if you are brand new to the channel of Jamia's Promo and you have not hit that subscribe button just yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos for the Galaxy Note 9. And don't forget to hit that playlist button on the very top so you can check out all the videos that's made so far for the Galaxy Note 9. Now the first everyday practical tip and trick will be talking about the quick text reply. So let's say that somebody just sent you over a text message, but you don't want to open up the full conversation. You just want to do a fast reply back. So when you pull this down and you check out your text message inside your notifications panel, you'll actually see this little small icon right over here that you're able to reply. And then you'll be able to see your little text message right here inside of whatever you will be sending back. And so right over here, you can just do a fast reply back of yes. And then once you hit on send, you just sent your text message right back over to them without pretty much opening up the full entire conversation. Practical tip number two is having text shortcuts. Now, if there's something that you mention all the time, maybe there's a sentence you say all the time, maybe your email is extremely long, but you text that out all the time, one of the things you're able to do is create a text shortcut. So right over here, I'm just gonna put in uh, my email. And once I hit on the space bar, it's going to put in whatever my email was. So whatever you set up, you're able to put in there. So if you send this all the time, you're able to do it. Now, how you're able to add that in is inside of your little uh, keyboard anytime if you're in text messaging or the internet, you really just want to see the settings icon. Inside of here, you'll go underneath the smart typing. And then over here is where you have the text shortcuts. Now you can see here that this is where I put in my email and this is what will be pretty much substituted in. Now, if you'd like to add in a new one, maybe you always say, I love you. You can do I L U and that is the shortcut, but the expanded is going to be I love you you. And then once you hit on add, it'll be added in there. Uh, or maybe you say good morning, baby, or anything like that, then you're able to have it as a shortcut. So now let's say that we go right back over here. And I wanted to tell this person, I love you. Just do I L U and bam, you're right there. But let's just say that maybe I L U maybe stood for something else, or maybe you wanted those three letters to be there. Um, or maybe you, you accidentally typed in my email and you really wanted those words to be there. All you would have to do is just choose this option right over here on the little uh, keyboard top area of all the suggested words. So again, as example, if I put in my email and for some reason, let's say that I wanted to send this to somebody um, or maybe when you set yours up, there was a space, then you'd be able to basically hit on that option there. Now, because almost everybody texts or chats on a daily basis, I knew I had to show this one off, especially as the second one for you guys to see. Now, if you always send somebody maybe your address or your PO box, you'd be able to add in the word maybe Addy, because I don't really think that many people use this word here anymore because we're not using you know instant messenger. But if you put in Addy, that's a definitely a really good shortcut to use for your address if you need to send it to somebody. Practical tip number three is a little similar to number two, but this one's gonna be a little different. So if you go inside of your text messaging application, on the very top right hand side, when you go to more options, you have an option for quick responses. Now this is what would be able to be used if you use another response all the time, but you don't wanna text anything out. A lot of times the quick responses is something that really pops up when someone calls you and you're able to send them a quick response. Now there's a couple of these in here that I don't really use um, at all. So maybe when can we meet? That one's kind of weird. Um, please call me when you get this, I'd rather it be a little bit more personal. So up here, I'll probably add in just a new one and I'll say, I'll call you back. And once you have that one typed out and you hit on that little add button, now to use one of those quick responses or one of the ones you just added in inside the Samsung messaging application with the Samsung keyboard, you go to this plus icon and you'll move right over here to the more options. And this is where you have quick responses. I'll call you back. And so in this way, maybe uh, you don't have time to either do a short message to make it, or maybe you're one of those people who would rather use a quick response more than a text shortcut. This is where you'd be able to put in those most frequently used phrases to send somebody a text message right on back. Practical tip number four is definitely for anybody who has kids or anybody who would like to lock a application on the screen. So head over into your settings and we're just gonna search for it over here. So once you go on the very top, you will type in the word pin windows. Now this one I definitely found helpful for my son. He's eight years old. It's a way that he doesn't accidentally get out of an application or a way that he doesn't rummage through my phone, start calling people I don't want him to call, deleting text messages, deleting images, or just doing something that you don't want them to do. Now once you turn on the pin windows, 
close, it will actually add a small little pin on the bottom of a screen when you hit on the recent um, applications on the bottom. But because I don't want him to really get out of it, um, I wanna make sure that you ask for the pin before unpinning. So in order for you to use this, let's say that I would like him to be stuck inside of the YouTube application and not use anything else. Once you open up that application, click on that recent apps and scroll up. Now what you will see is a pin on the very bottom right hand side. Now let's just say for example, um, you're in a different application. So let's say maybe we're inside of settings. When you click on the recent apps on the very bottom, you'll see that the pin window is going to be used for this application. So it's really only used for the most recent application that is open and then once you click on this pin, now you will be locked. Now, this keeps the app in view until you unpin it. To unpin the app, touch and hold the Recents button. But again, it will probably ask me for my pin. So let's say that he's inside of here. Um, again, he is able to rummage through this entire application, but he's not able to hit on the Home button. He's not able to really get out of the application. Um, he's not able to do anything with the device. Even if this person was trying to either you know, turn off the phone, um, it's still going to go right over here. Now, if I press and hold on the Recents app, this is where it takes me back over to my lock screen it's going to ask for my lock pin as well to get back into the phone so again they are not rummaging through something that they shouldn't do and once you have placed in your pin now you're able to get out of the application and use it as normal Practical tip number five is if you're using the Chrome browser and you don't want to scroll down with the S Pen and maybe you just wanted to do a double tap and it'll be able to scroll down. Now, if you do want to change this from the double tap to the single tap to scroll down, I just find it to be useful that if you are you know, browsing the internet, it's one of those things that you're able to do to pretty much scroll it without even touching your phone. So here is what you're able to do with the single press, which will be able to do the back button. And then here is the double press for scroll down. Now, if you think that scrolling down is easier by pressing it once then you can do that and then for the double press you can either go back up or you can go back now to check out what it looks like if I press it once it will scroll down and if I was to do a double press it'll go back up so if you are reading something that is on Chrome then it's probably an easier way to kind of just kind of lean back relax hit a little button and then you're still able to do what you want without even touching the screen for practical tip number six, we will be staying inside of the Chrome browser. Now let's just say that you have different tabs that are opened up. Instead of clicking on those tabs over here and switching it between whatever you would like to check out, on the very top over here, if you're to pretty much just swipe over left or right, it will go between all those different tabs that you had opened up. So this is just a little bit easier than going through here and trying to scroll through, find something else. Um, all you'd have to do is do a fast little, little swipe on the very top, either going left or right. Practical tip number seven, we will We'll be heading back over inside of the text messaging app and it's a way that you're able to set a scheduled text message. Now the great thing about setting up a text message by schedule is to pretty much say hi to somebody before anybody else does. Maybe send a reminder to somebody at 10 o'clock but maybe you might be sleeping or even better yet they say hey text me at 4 a.m. to make sure I'm up to go to work but you in fact will also be sleeping. Now right over here when you go to this plus icon from what you've seen from before in this video um, you also have another option over here for schedule message so let's say we want to go for tomorrow and we will be going over into the 4 a.m. because obviously I will not be up at 4 a.m. but my friend wants me to send them a text message so once you hit on done it'll be sent tomorrow 4 a.m. and you'd say hey are you up or you can say pretty much whatever you want to, but now what'll happen is you can send this, but now it will be scheduled up until it sends. Once you have a scheduled text message sent, you will see this little timer or this clock right over here. If you click on this option here, this is the way you'd be able to edit it, delete, or send now. Practical tip number eight is probably one that you've seen in a dozen of different videos, which is what happens when you press and hold on the button of the S Pen. But this is one of those things that is still definitely underneath the practical tips and tricks because it's supposed to help you with your day-to-day -day life. Now, if you go underneath the S Pen remote, you're able to choose what happens when you hold down the S Pen button. Now, if there's something that you use all the time, maybe you're always using a calculator, maybe you're always trying to write a note, uh, maybe you wanted to check out something on Snapchat, maybe you're um, going into Twitter or whatever the case, um, or maybe you're somebody who always checks your schedule or your calendar 
basically you're able to go inside of here, press and hold on the S Pen remote button, um, settings, click right over here, and you're able to choose any application. Now this way, when you press and hold, this will launch your calendar instead of the camera that is originally set up on the phone. So this way you're able to use whatever makes your day-to-day -day life much easier. Practical tip number nine, I know for a fact I'm not the only one in the world that would do this, and this is also something that I'll place inside of a video that is for talking about organizing your Galaxy Note 9, but that's making a folder of your application tools, meaning your clock, your calendar, calculator, and anything else that you would put inside this box. Now for me, I always place these three inside of a folder that's called tools because I always check out my clock. I always have to check out my timer, is uh, my alarm set, also my calendar, what's going on today, what's going on tomorrow. Uh, maybe I got to check out uh, what, you know, two times two is, or I need to check out what is 18% of $59 or whatever the case. This right here is one of those things you should definitely do, which is create a tools folder. And if you don't know how to do that, all you'd have to do is add a um, application on top of the other application. It creates a folder. You're able to change the color and also give it a name. Also, once this creator or this folder is created, you can go inside of here and you can add more applications to this. So in this way, you can add more tools. Now, I know the title of this video is talking about the top 10 practical tips and tricks, but I will be adding in one additional one going over into 11 just to go a little above and beyond. Now, practical tip number 10 is talking about the pen detection for writing. Now, the S Pen is something that's fantastic. It's probably the best thing that was added to a phone, uh, you know, kind of like sliced bread. But anytime you go inside of an area where you have your keyboard popped up because you're in a text area, we well, have an option over here to do your handwriting. So right over here, even this thing right here will pick up my chicken scratch. And so if you would like this right here, the uh, handwriting option to pop up instantly, all you would have to do is inside of your keyboard, go to the settings, and then you have the option right here for pen detection. Now what'll happen is it'll show the handwriting pad when the S Pen is detached. So anytime that you're in a application and you're inside of the text little bar or area, this right here will pop up automatically as you saw from before. Now again, I'm just gonna write in, hey bro, and you can see that it even, you can you know pick up my handwriting. Also, if you scratch out or swipe through those words, it will delete them, just like you've learned in English class. Now, practical tip number 11 is probably one of the most important ones inside this video. Why is it last? I have no idea. Hopefully it held you over to the very last portion of this video. And this one is talking about the in-app showing of whatever happens when you press on this S Pen button. What I mean by that is, that, let's say that you're inside of YouTube and you see your little air command option over here. When you hover the S Pen over this spot, it'll show you what happens when you do a single press and what happens when you do a double press. Also, with inside that application, without going inside of your settings on the very top of the phone, when you click on Air Command, you're able to choose what happens when you do that single press as well as the double press. So now let's head over into another application to show you what I'm also talking about as that example. So right over here, we went back over inside of the Chrome, and you can see here, if you hover over the Air Command, it'll let you know what happens when we do the single press as well as the double press. Now, if you'd like to change that, again, without going inside your settings of the S Pen settings, click on that little circle and this is where you have your S Pen actions for Chrome and you can change it right from there. Now, if you don't see it, that just means you have to pull up that little arrow and it gives you your option on the very bottom. Now, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, write a comment below the video if there's anything that's brand new that you've learned from this video. And these are actually technically supposed to be practical tips and tricks, not really the hidden tips and tricks. And that video will soon come. Now, if you have not hit subscribe yet, hit on that little red circle right over here. You can hit subscribe right there. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you